even my internet is already off like no wifi or no data connection is on but still i am able to control my real device through this here you can see i have this android device i will just use my android device so hey what's up guys welcome back to tech rk in this video we are going to see like how we can connect our android or ios device to our system and we can actually control our devices from our system let's suppose laptop or desktop so for that we have one amazing tool so let's just jump into the video and just see how we can do that so for that just go to your favorite browser let's suppose here i'm going to chrome and just type in visor here from the first link you can see this visor this is basically a software which you can download on your system let's suppose i hit on download i have windows so i will download the windows one if you have like mac or linux system you can download for that as well so once i download that so i've already downloaded it i will just pause this and just open this so before opening or running the visor application what you need to do is you need to connect your android or ios device to your system through usb cable and the android device must have the developer tools enabled and usb debugging also turned on so here i have this android device here you can see i have this android device i will just use my android device it's usb debugging and developer mode is already turned on so i will just click on this visor Here you can see I just open this and on my Android device I got this notification allow USB debugging. So once I allow this now here you can see RMX2170 connected. So my device is connected to this visor now. So visor can able to access my device like here it can see like one device is connected. Now if I run this it will just what it will actually do is it will install visor application visor apk on my android device as well so that it can communicate my device through the this windows system so here you can see i have my android device here so if i want to like control anything let's suppose i want to swipe or i just want to swipe on and here you can see even my internet is already off like no wifi or no data connection is on but still i am able to control my real device through this visor application so this is basically very useful if you want to like do some testing if you are an android developer and you have developed any android application you want to test it on real device you can do that as well so it's very helpful for that and mainly for developer purposes or even if you want to like play some videos on your device which is like available on your device you can play that as well so here i have one question for you if you like know the answer you can just answer it in the comment section so here if you see i have this visor application both on my system on my laptop as well as on my android device now what if i delete this application from my android device like on my windows device i have this android device is this and it's connected to this real device let's suppose i delete this visor application from my android device let's suppose i delete it now if you see i'm still able to control my android device i can do anything on my android device here also you can see this is saying play and but still i am connected to my android device i am able to easily run anything even i can type as well like let's suppose i want to type anything that also i can do that is also working fine everything is working fine so let's suppose okay this floating window as well so what do you think like could be the reason that i am still able to access my android device so if you know the answer you can mention it in the comment section so here the actual reason behind it is the internal working of this visor if you see this visor application this is basically internally running the through the adb like it's using adb if you are an android developer you must be knowing that adb basically helps us to connect to our real devices like through usb debugging we can actually control our device we can take screenshot of that we can download the application from that real device we can do anything we can download any 
backup from that android device or anything which we want we can do that using adb so adb basically comes from the android if you are like using android studio you must be having the that platform packages under that we have adb so that's the main purpose of the adb so here what happen is i have my visor on the windows machine as well as on when i connect to the android device it install the same visor on that android device as well and it create a connection adb connection through which basically we are controlling our android device through this laptop so once i delete that visor application from the android device but the connection is still established so adb connection is still there through usb debugging is enabled so adb connection is still there but now if i reload or like uh, reboot this android device then my connection will no longer be there or if i just restart this visor then i won't be able to connect to my real device so if you see here currently if i just play this you can see this is again installing the visor application because that was deleted and the connection was lost so now it installed that application on the real device and it creates another adb connection so that's how basically it's connecting to our real devices so if you are interested like in full access or like much better way you want to access your android device here you can see pricing so if you are interested you can go for the pro one but i feel the basic is enough if you are just using for testing purposes or maybe just developing an android application so if you like this video please do hit the like button and if you have any query you can just ask it in the comment section